það er hægt að bora niður í kviku, það er hægt að bora dýpra á jarðatasvæðum heldur en menn heldu áður. It may be that these kinds of magma bodies actually are an incredible source of geothermal energy. Eftir þess að við best vitum þá er, er djúburinn að hólan á Íslandi heitast á bóralli heimi. Og það má vel vera að sko innan tíðar að þá sé bara komið nýtt tímabil orkuvinslu. Iceland is a volcanic island that sits on the mid-Atlantic ridge above a hot spot. The ridge marks the plate boundary between the North American and Eurasian plates. Geothermal energy is abundant in most areas of Iceland, and tremendous amounts of energy can be found deep in the roots of the high temperature areas. The Iceland Deep Drilling Project, IDDP, is an international research project exploring new methods for energy generation. The objective is to drill deeper than ever before, going beyond conventional methods and increasing the output of each borehole. Á heimsvísu er um 5 megawatt en fræðilega séð erum við að tala um að djúburunahóla geti verið alltaf 50 megawatt, þannig að við erum að tala um tíföldun í afli. The first deep drilling well in the Krapla area, IDDP1, was drilled in 2009. The objective was to drill down to a depth of 4,500 meters and to locate supercritical water. However, drilling came to an abrupt end when the drill string penetrated magma at a depth of only 2,100 meters. We held them a hole over a hinnia walker. A yard lane was just a hinnia or porcelain. And we heard them a tea gong a sprinkia or screw or string in the center. Or stay by tapa on a thaw or bora utur. And now there's no echi atler up and thus in my co muffa porcelain were filled of thersku glary. Og ef það er fest gler í, í búnaðinum að þá bendi til þess að, að við höfum lent í kviku. The deep drilling borehole turned out to be a magma well and it was clear that the initial objective of drilling for supercritical geothermal resources wouldn't be achieved. However, new opportunities were created with this new type of well. Except for one other minor case, it's the only place where people have actually drilled to magma. And to know exactly where the magma is and what the conditions are and that it's feasible to drill there is an absolutely incredible and unprecedented thing. So if you're going to go into this quick, then it's not just going to be able to do it. And it's because of the fact that it's very well underbúið that the work of the Ásandi landsvirkjun vildi prófa þetta áfram, hvort það væri þetta nýta þessa gufu rétt ofan við kviku, sem er náttúrulega nýja undurstjúfa heitt. Flótest began in March 2010. The well had temperature rose to 450 degrees Celsius, the highest level recorded worldwide. The chemical composition of the superheated geothermal steam turned out to be highly corrosive, and the force of it damaged equipment in the wellhead. New methods were needed to purify the steam and to redesign equipment. Eventually, much cleaner, utilizable steam was extracted from the magma than that previously found in conventional high-temperature boreholes. Niðurstaðan var einfaldlega svo að það var hægt að fá hana fyrna orku af yfirhýttaðri gufu í svona yfirhýttuð ástandi nánast eins og við höfðum ætlað okkur. Munnurinn var bara sá að við þurftum ekki að fara niður 5 km. Það dugði að fara hérna niður á 2 km. The magma well at Krapla can produce 30 megawatts. This is enough energy to provide 60,000 homes with electricity. The Krapla geothermal station would need only two boreholes of this type to replace the 18 conventional boreholes currently utilized. Hérna í Kröflu þá gæti þetta þýtt að að við gætum haldið í þá náttla við þá vinnslu sem er nú og og farið í frekari vinnslu með tiltölulega litlu raski og á tiltölulega hagkvæman hátt. Landsverkum will continue to research the magma well at Krapla to assess the feasibility of utilizing this resource for electricity generation. The Iceland Deep Drilling Project, IDDP, will continue with deep drilling projects in new areas. There's certainly a very bright future for this technology, and Iceland is really leading the way. Og þetta svona gefur mann, mönnum kannski svolítið nýja sín á jarðhita, að segja þetta nýta jarðhita á til þeirra nýjan hátt til þeirra menn hafa áður gert. Við erum á þröskuldinu inn í nýtt tímabil í orkumislu.